Hello everybody, it's Fufu here and today I've got an interesting experiment for you guys. So, recently uh, us over in, the, in America and in, in the UK and everywhere else in the world have just got access to Ash Hat Pikachus. These forms were originally released in Japan with the upcoming movie, they've finally got to the rest of the world and I've got my hands on one, I've got my hands on the Hoenn Cap one, I think it looks cool. But what I'm going to test today is a couple of things about evolution. I want to know whether this Ash Hat Pikachu can evolve into a Raichu, and if it does, does it keep its cap or not? Who knows? And then uh, we'll see how we go from there. So I'll do this. It's interesting to note that, like in the Pokemon Go events, you could get Pichus and Raichus that keep the hat of the Pikachu because there are different event hats there, but. Um, you can see here, bottom in the bottom, this guy is an Ash Hat Pikachu who's currently holding the Pikachunium Z, which it comes with. And you get this through Mystery Gift Event thing. You just type in Pikachu 20 and then you get him. Um, so I'm going to see, can he evolve with the Thunderstone? No, unable. Which kind of makes sense, I guess. Like, if it's meant to be like Ash's Pikachu, it doesn't want to evolve. And we, we don't know if it's able to evolve. Presumably it is able to evolve, but anyway, this one can't and it, it's got the hat. The hat just prevents the evolution. That's a bit strange. So then that kind of leads on to another question. If this Pokemon can't evolve, does it get the benefit from a Violite? Obviously normally Pikachu can evolve into Raichu, so if Pikachu holds it, a Violite, it gets boosted defenses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a, a two quick battles to test how much damage Pikachu takes with, with and without a Violite. So let's do that now. Okay, so now we're about to go into the battle. You can see that my Pikachu is holding the Violite. So we'll test with a Violite and then without a Violite to see if there is any difference. And uh, let's just get into this battle. So interestingly, the Pikachu comes with the static ability, not Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod is a very nice ability to have, but it comes with static, which is not as nice because you have to be hit by a move and if Pikachu gets hit by a move, it generally faints because it's not the bulkiest of Pokemon. Um, but yeah, Lightning Rod will be better. The different caps come with different moves depending on what they use in the anime, presumably. And um, so this one doesn't have the best moves. It does get Iron Tail, which is one of the better moves in that it doesn't learn that naturally yet. Um, but some of them get Volt Tackle and Iron Tail, which is really cool. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go for, I guess, a Thunderbolt with this. And we have got my mascot on the other side of the field. This cute little Minon is gonna go for a Volt Switch, which shouldn't do too much damage, but we'll be able to see how much it does. So there, it's done 33 damage with a Volt Switch. My Storm again does have the Volt Absorb, a far superior ability. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is start another battle and give this Pikachu, well, take, take away the Aviolite basically. So let's do that. Okay, so we are back again. Now you can see that my Pikachu is holding the Pikachunium Z. So we will enter that into this battle and let's start this thing. So basically, um, we'll see if it now does more damage, seeing as though Pikachu is not holding the Aviolite. So we'd expect it to be doing, I don't know, roughly about 49 damage because it did 33 last time and half of 33 is 16 and a half and 16 and a half plus 33 is 49 and a half um, which is about how much you would see uh, if, if, if the Violite worked. Uh, so what I'm going to do for Pikachu is I'm just going to go for it, may as well go for a quick attack this time and we shall go for a Volt Switch, actually no, yeah, we'll go for a Volt Switch um, and we'll see how much damage we're going to do. Uh, so here's the Volt Switch. How much damage is going to go on? Uh, that did 34 damage. So it's looking like a Violite is not even working. So this Pikachu form um, is, is really interesting. It basically counts as not being able to evolve. Like it doesn't have an evolution. So it's th that's really interesting how that worked. I wasn't sure if that would be the case, whether it would be like program to evolve but then it just can't or whether it's just I don't know it's interesting maybe this count it doesn't count as a separate Pokemon though because in the Pokedex it registered it as Pikachu 
Um, so yeah, that's 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 an interesting thing, turn of events. Uh, you can watch some of Pikachu's fun animations while we're doing this. It, it jumps up and does fun things. Uh, but yeah, get yourself a cool little Pikachu that has this fun Z move, and um, and it's only available for a limited time. Pick your favorite hat. They have different moves, so you you need to choose wisely. But you want to get one of these because you can use this awesome Z move. If you can see it, that's great. I might have to cut this out though. I'm currently showing the uh, the Z move. Um, that a Pikachu comes with, but it may well not be allowed on on YouTube. I don't know if they've like copyrighted this, but you may as well. You may well have seen it before already. It looks pretty sweet. Lots of colourful thunderbolts and stuff. But yeah, please, um, please get your Pikachu while you can. But that's going to be all for today. I think that actually has um, a high critical hit chance, but. It didn't quit. Anyway, that's going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I've been free for you, but awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.